Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. I usually don't make review videos, but I believe, this plugin is worth for sharing. So you can improvise your work, and add some nice looking liquid elements. Let's have a look. So, let's get started. Open After Effects, and here is a quick tip. If your computer is suffering from low memory, then make sure to go to Edit, Purge, and select All Memory, and Disk Cache. Then click on OK, it will delete old disk cache, which After Effects has been creating, while you were working on your projects. Anyway, after installing the AE Juice Manager in your computer, simply go to the window, and click on AE Juice Pack Manager. It will open up this tab here, with all the packs you had purchased. The good thing is, it comes with a free starter pack, which you can use into your projects. This starter pack is free, and it has more than 50 motion elements. Click on the folder to see the content of it. One of my favorite is Motion Cafe UI where you will get some nice HUD type of elements. This single pack contains 50 elements. Let's create a new composition, and we will call it, A, E Juice. I am using the full HD resolution, with a duration of 10 seconds, and the frame rate of 30. Now import your video into the project, you are free to use any video you want. Place it onto the timer line, and now we are going to add some elements to it. Go to the AE Juice Pack Manager tab, and here we are going to focus on the liquid elements. Click on it, and here we have a lot of folders, with different types of elements. For example animals, bubbles, chaos loops, cigarette, cigarette smoke, combo, electricity, experiment, explosion, and a lot of others. The library is so huge, that we cannot cover it in a single video. You can combine these elements with each other, to create some new elements. Everything is organized very well, so that you can easily find anything you want. Let's see how can we use it in our video. Simply select any element you want, then drop it onto the timeline, or the composition window, before adding it into the project, let's see other options as well. In the bottom of the tab, you will find this gear icon. Click on it. This window contains all the style for a single element. Glow, 8-bit, flat style and many more. I am going with this glowing style, and then hit OK. Now grab it, and drop it onto our composition window. It will add a new layer on top of your video layer. See, it is easy. Go to a few frames forward, and here we have this glowing element. But this element is bigger than we need, you can adjust the size of it by using the scale. Because this is a shape layer, you can increase or decrease the size, according to your requirement. Maybe place it here, and make the size to fit to the shoulder. Because this is a glowing element, I can always change the blending mode of it, so that it will look like the part of the scene. I am using the screen mode for it. Let's add the same element, but with a different style. Just to see the different variations of a single element. 
select the same element, and then click on this gear icon. Of course you can use any style you want, but I am using this cartoon type. Again, place it onto the composition. And this time, I am going to place it here. I am just showing up how this thing can work together. Of course, you can create much better than this. Add more elements into the scene, to create some nice looking elements. Everything is just drag and drop here. If you change the style of a single element, all other elements will take the same style. So you don't have to do the style selection for each element. For changing the color of any element, simply, open the comp, select control, go to the effects control, and change the color of the fill. It will update the color immediately. This is what we have created in a few minutes and clicks. You should spend more time to achieve what you are looking for. There are some other examples for using the liquid elements in your projects. Check the link in the description and start creating for yourself.